Hey guys, welcome to the point. Everything around here is loud. Strata coasters are my favorite coasters ever. Oh? Although there's only two and I've only been on one. But that's not the point. The point is I like that. With a lap bar? Jesus, take the wheel. Oh. So what do you think of Maverick? I think I will let Maverick do whatever it pleases to me. Oh? I'm not... How do I zoom in on your phone? Your phone's so zoomed in. Yeah. It's because you're very close. It doesn't have a wide angle. Thing. So how did you enjoy that second launch? Um, so it started off slow and I was like, wow, you guys overhyped nothing. And then we hit warp speed and I was like, what happened? <laughs> Like, we literally hit warp speed. You don't understand. So good. What was your favorite part? Uh, I, I don't know. Everything happened so fast. Yeah, I knew that. I didn't that's, even get to I knew ride. that's how you would react, too. I was I, like, he's not going to be able to process anything. I didn't process anything that happened. <laughs> I do like the... Um, the only part I really processed, which I like, is after the second launch, that, like, little banked hill. Oh, yeah. Behind the lift. Or in front of it, wherever it is, that. Okay, that was supposed to be an inversion, or low to the, the ground, room. yeah. But they had to remove it. I saw that video. They had to remove it because of people's necks. Yeah, their necks. But damn. <laughs> so we did Steel Vengeance, or no, we did Maverick first because Steel Vengeance had a really long line. Should we go to Steve now? Um, no, Jane's got to buy his fast lane, so we might go do Skyhawk. Okay. Well, they do that, and then uh, we're gonna hit up Steel Vengeance. And then UConn Striker, the junior. Oh. I don't know what she's doing. I tried to be artistic there. I don't think it worked. Are you still filming? Yeah. <laughs> oh. So what's your favorite ride Welcome at the park the so point. far? We've only been on one. <laughs> We've only been on one ride. Uh, I feel like after Jaden told me the cool kids call this the point, I feel like they go, hey guys, welcome to the point. Oh. All right, so we'll hit up Steel Vengeance, and that's that. Maverick stops. Oh, it did too. All right, you just got off Val Raven. How was it? It's starting to rain. This is where it's going to get ugly for a bit, like your face. <laughs> Damn. Okay, I see how it is. Says me. Says me. Aww. Yeah, no, uh, sure, good ride, yay, great, good job, Cedar Point. Yukon destroys it, though. Yeah, Yukon's way this better. This is no comparison. But that's not a fair comparison. Like, Val Raven was designed to be your typical dive. Yukon's at the first. Well, actually, that's a lie, not the first, but, um, yeah. Yukon, yeah, Yukon kills us any day. Photo over here. Sorry. Yukon Striker could Valley, and I would still have more fun on Yukon than I would on this. Oh? That's not true. That's true. Val Raven's fun. And it has, like, elements we don't have on Yukon that were fun to experience. The zero G roll was cool, I'll give it that, but other than that, it's All just All right, so of... is it kind of near the bottom of the list for today so far? It's on the bottom of my whole list. Oh! Like, it's down there with the Arrow Mine Train at Great Adventure. Oh, that, is just, that is just shady. I don't think it's that bad. But that this is your video. This is your review of Cedar Point, not mine. All right, so I let's, give my honest thoughts. Let's go ride Raptor. <gasps> Wing coasters. He was too busy checking out a girl. <laughs> I got Craig's raw face from that comment. That was the best. Uh, how's the drop on that? Oh my god, it was. It's weirder watching the front of everyone in front of you twist, and then you just kind of follow and get thrown over. I yeah. Just, I'm so fascinated, and all you guys are so bored. Hey, host. Oh. Okay, so oh, what? I said she wasn't ready to talk yet. I just wanted to say that into the camera. Okay, 
What did we? Okay, what did we? We missed a couple. Out? A gatekeeper. Let's start there. What did you think of no, gatekeeper? No, we got gatekeeper. Did we? On uh, his phone. Give it. No. In case it doesn't get audio. Real... Okay. Let's see. Gatekeeper. Oh yeah, gatekeeper's underrated. Okay, yeah, you like it a lot. I think it's underrated. I don't know why people don't like it. I would love one at Wonderland. It's the same you as... You look like an egg. <laughs> and now I'm a sad egg. <laughs> yeah, you liked it a lot. Why'd you like it? I have no idea. It's just a new experience, and then watching people twist over the drop in front of us was weird. Because we just kind of like, leave. Yeah, you liked it a lot. Okay, what was your favorite element? On, uh... Gatekeeper? The, the, what are they called? The keyholes? Keyholes, But okay. not going through them on the way back. When okay. You go next to the them. near miss? Yeah, that. Now, what did you think about um, Wicked Twister? Okay, it was fun, but it scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I've never been more scared on a roller coaster in my life. Oh? Yes, that is a camera. Nice job. Oh, they're looking back. Oh? Uh, I don't know why people are so, like... Favorite element on Wicked Twister? <laughs> <laughs> the brake run. Honestly, yes. What were you? You were scared on Wicked Twister. So yeah, he was really scared on Wicked Twister. Um, Millennium Force. Oh, that sucked. What? In really? all, that was really boring. Yeah, like compared, like compared to a B&M. Like that was really. And it's my first time going on an, uh, another roller coaster that's 300 feet, and it was boring. Okay, like, that so says a lot. The positives, though, you said that you were scared going up the lift I hill. I was scared going up because I thought I was gonna fall over. <laughs> That's the only reason. <laughs> um, you did say it maintains its speed throughout the whole ride. That's a positive. It does keep all It's, of its ranked speed. third best coaster in the world. Does it deserve that title? Well, I'd say 10th, 13th, 15th. Like, no, not, not in the top 10. <laughs> yeah. Maybe top 50. Leviathan and Fury and all that are way better than Millennium Forest. Well, I haven't been on Fury, but Leviathan is. And it's just not, it's not smooth. It's, it's really drawn out. It's better than Behemoth, I'll give it that, but like it's on par with Behemoth. Okay. Rougarou. Mm, Rougarou what did you think beats, about Rougarou? Rougarou beats Bizarro. It beats it's Bizarro? Really good. So it looks like Cedar Point beats everything about Adventure. Great Adventure. Other than... No, yeah, everything got beat. Yeah, it, it seems like match to match for what rides are. Yeah, and even Top Thrill. King Nick is taller and has an extra element, and Top Thrill is still better. Yeah. Tell me how that works. Yeah, everything is smoother. Yeah. I'm okay. So you know me. I did. I like. I was not excited for this park. Like deep down, like you know, I I kind of like I didn't like this park last year when I came here. But this year it's so much better. We're having a really good time. Yeah, it's a good trip. Yeah, it's, it's a, a really, really good, good trip. Park. We're having thing. We're meeting a lot of people. It's super fun. Now you're shadowed. Um, so it's, it's a good trip so far. We're gonna go ride. We're gonna go eat Chick Fil A because we don't have that in Canada. If well, the, we do now. If the line's long, I'm going somewhere else. And then we're gonna ride Steel Vengeance and Maverick again, and like repeat. And then we're gonna do some haunted houses. We'll do a little Halloween review of the park too tonight. But I yeah. want to see this park at night. Overall, um, you okay? You were talking about this in Rougarou. What? You're gonna have difficulty ranking the rides, oh right? My God. Yeah, you're you're so in love with Cedar Point that you you said you find it extremely I'm difficult. I'm gonna become a Cedar Point fanboy, and everyone's gonna hate me. <laughs> it's totally justified if you love Cedar Point. Yeah. Like, there's a reason we came here. It's amazing. I'm re in love with it. Like everywhere you look, there you can't not see a roller coaster in this park. At Wonderland, you can go like 10 minutes without seeing a roller coaster. You can't go. You can't go 30 seconds without seeing or hearing a roller coaster. Here. Yeah. And especially the hearing, they're all like, ah! oh my god. I caught that voice crack on camera. <laughs> they're all really I loud. caught that really good. Oh my god, that was your loudest one yet. His voice just cracked so loud. Poor Craiga. Damn, puberty's doing you hard. <laughs> that doesn't mean like you guys think it does. <gasps> A dog. <laughs> what did you spin around for? Dog. Alright. Uh, oh. Let's go eat some Chick-fil-A before it's Sunday and they shut down. They shut down Chick-fil-A on Sundays. Um, yeah, they do. And yeah, let's go rewrite Steel Vengeance, get a better idea. We'll make sure to get a late night ride on top of that. I still haven't processed those two. Yeah. Steel Vengeance and Maverick have not been processed. 
process. So, favorite coaster in the park so far? Steel Vengeance. Least favorite coaster in the park so far? Honestly? Yeah. Millennium Forest. Oh? I agree I like with that. I like the stupid mine ride better. That's not, okay, that's not true. Yeah, it is. It's smoother. Oh? You are being controversial. You are being a controversial queen today. <laughs> she has a Green Day shirt on. Where is my wedding ring? Oh? My wedding ring. You hear that, ladies watching this? Have a Green Day shirt and you're married to Grega. Although at this rate, I've married more guys than girls. All right, we'll be back. So you want a Chick-fil-A, but what happened? Yeah, I, I don't know. The line kind of I think someone was right when they informed us that a certain line would be too long. Someone was smart, and we were not. They have a... So we're gonna go find somewhere else to eat. We'll be back. All right, Craig. We just did two night rides, one on Steel Vengeance and one on Maverick. How are you enjoying the night rides at this park? <laughs> no, there's no words for anything here. You don't understand. If you go to Wonderland and ride Levi at night, it's like, wow, it's so cool. You come here and this thing just like, it wants you off. They want you off. Maverick and Steel Vengeance, they just want you off the ride. <laughs> the trains want you out. Oh, very descriptive. Out. All right. <laughs> oh. I'm sad. So, Steel Vengeance was your favorite ride at the park earlier today, but now you're saying you're having difficulty deciding yeah, between oh, Maverick, Maverick and Steel Vengeance. I think I gotta give it to Steel I think I gotta give it to Steel Vengeance because of the length, but Maverick is so much more intense. Yes, yeah, see, I had this problem last year. I honestly, at night, I don't know what's better. Steel Vengeance is better, but Maverick is more intense. Yeah, it's yeah, so good. Like, it's Sky, I guess I would say Sky Rush. Intense, although Sky Rush sucked, but whatever. Sky Rush intense, but it's actually fun. How quick did we get on Maverick? Two minutes. It two took minutes us two minutes fast. to get on Maverick. Literally two minutes. Fast Lane Plus was a blessing at this park at night. Oh. God. Okay. Especially I, during Halloween weekends. Yes. Or Halloween, whatever. Oh, it's so amazing. Everyone's signing up for the haunted house. You can't see, but they're all down there in a crowd. I actually, I think the camera did pick it up. They're all trying to get in haunted houses and we're here riding night rides. So we're gonna go ride Top Thrill. Would you suggest? Yeah. 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 And then, Magnum? and Magnum? Yeah. Okay. All right, so let's go do Top Thrill, Magnum, and then head back here. Okay. And I do want to do corn stalkers at some point. That's like, yeah. okay. Well, when Break red. That's the wrong one. Are you still holding? Yeah. Ah, you can hear me being an idiot in the background. I don't like that. Oh. Oh, this park's amazing. Welcome back, Ryder. How's your we've been waiting an hour and ten minutes no I'd say like an hour we got on the line at eight oh, it's been exactly an hour and ten minutes <laughs> give you light <laughs> and how much longer do we have to wait I think another hour and what maze are we in line for I don't even remember oh corn stalkers too corn stalkers too it better be good this was a bad decision it better be good so What's the difference between Canada's Wonderland and Cedar Point's Halloween Haunt? Canada's Wonderland sends you through in a conga line. Where you go in like four at a time here. Yeah, this is a joke. If you're this big of a park, you can't be like sending people in this in small stupid. groups. You have to do what Wonderland does. Everything at Cedar Point was so good up until this. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm actually so disappointed. 
I would ne like I would never come back to Hello Weekends. It's getting you really good. Oh, I thought maybe it would turn on the flash. This works really well. Like really well. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> would you ever like come back for the mazes for Hello Weekends? Nope. Why? Well, first off, this, and second, I'm not a very big maze goer in the first yeah. place. Like, if there's no line, sure, I'll go, I don't care, but like... Yeah, I'm actually thoroughly disappointed. Like, Jesus, we have been... And we, we probably have another 30 minutes to go. I don't know how far that goes, I didn't walk far enough. Uh, my god. Long ass Can this wonder when you're doing it right? You Keep doing it. Is your point you're doing it wrong? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we'll update you after. It's better be good for sake. Yes. So? Oh? Oh. How was the wait for corn stalkers? Well, what was it? An hour and twenty an hour and a half? Yeah. I don't know if I it, feel like it was longer than that. I don't know if it was worth it, but it was really good. Yeah, they didn't need to separate people in that one at all. Because the scares were unexpected. Yeah, regardless, the scare act It could have been a conga line, it was just cement. Yeah. Yeah, there's no safety issue, blah, blah, blah. Wonderland does it every year and it works out fine. Yeah, I don't understand what Yeah. So we're not doing any more haunted houses because we're not waiting an hour and a half to two hours to get into a haunted house. So we're gonna go to Top Thrill. Yay. Night ride. Yay. I can't imagine it gets better at night, it's the same ride. I right know, I don't know. I. I said that earlier, I was like, why would we do Top Thrills at Night Ride? Do I need background? It's so nice. Oh? They can't see it. Oh, plus everything's on in front of it anyway. Oh. I didn't think of that. That Raven. Oh? Shade. How many steps have we taken today so far? Like 25,000 now? We're at 25, yeah. 25,000, walked 20 kilometers. Yep. It's crazy. Yeah. It's been quite the day at Cedar Point. Yeah, and we're gonna be back here tomorrow. Yay. <laughs> All right. Let's... I don't know how we're gonna have energy tomorrow after being here till two in the morning, having to wake up at eight again. Let's go get our nighttime ride on. Uh... She's a famous TikToker. No, I'm not. Oh? Yeah, he has a YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah. Hey, are you gonna have your camera back? <laughs> Top Bill Night Ride? Yes. Please. Let's go. Craig. Oh. We forgot to end the vlog. <laughs> It happens all the time. You guys don't understand how much this happens. We're in our hotel room waiting for pizza. We have conjoined rooms. It's also one in the morning. One in the morning. We just got back from like Cedar Point night riding. So we rode Top Thrill at night. What did you think of that? Did it make any difference? You love Top Thrill Dragster though. Yeah, but it was the same ride at night. It's not like anything can really change. Yeah. Other than, what, two miles an hour extra on the top? Ooh. <laughs> and that's what I told you guys. I was like, why are we wasting our time on Top Thrill at night? It once. Well, that's true. You liked it a lot. And this trip's about you, so. Oh. Oh. I've been super nice. I've been letting Craig have all the best seats. <laughs> have I not been putting you first? No. Tomorrow, you're oh. going to be like, uh. <laughs> no, okay, not. so tomorrow, I'm going <laughs> to. I'm not buying you your all meal and eat shit. You're gonna starve. <laughs> uh, I've done it before. I can if the pizza that I eat tonight will get me through two days. Oh, that's terrible. Um, so what did you think of? Oh my God, Maverick at night. Yeah. Okay. So we rode Maverick. Okay. So how many rides did we get on Steel Vengeance today? I think four, five. Five rides on Steel Vengeance. And at least eight on Maverick. Eight, yeah, like seriously, like eight on Maverick. Because Maverick just got to a walk-on point for fast lane. What just happened? We're on the second best ride in the park and there's a five minute, not even, look, look look how many people there are in front of us. This We're at the end of the line. And we're at the station. And even the regular queue started getting like just five minutes long. Yeah. What else did we ride a couple times? That's it. Top throw twice. No, three times. Three times, right. I keep forgetting about that one. So three... We had a good day. We did... Okay, we... 
we'll, we'll, we'll wrap this up and then I'll start another one to fix our Halloween haunt situation because it turns out that we just put ourselves in a really bad position by doing something, which we'll explain. Um, all in all, nighttime ride park or whatever they call it in the enthusiast community. No, you can ride at any time. Not no, I know, but like this park, like how is its night rides? Oh my god, the park like wakes up at night. Yeah, <laughs> Steel Vengeance was a sick. So compared to El Toro, that's a hard thing because I remember El Toro hurting me. Okay, but like in the park, did he not in the park just say like there's no comparison? I'm Steel Vengeance. So the, the thing is, Steel Vengeance is up here and El Toro's down here, and then I think about El Toro, then it goes up. And then I think it was the Vengeance and El Toro goes back down. So, it's your opinions, right? So why don't you, you could even say they're both tied for number one. No, because I think Matt, oh, what did I put on my stupid list? You had, so in the park you said Steel Vengeance, Maverick, then El Toro. Did I do that? Yeah. I don't, I can't decide between, the thing is Maverick and Steel Vengeance. <laughs> Maverick at night is insane. They just the rides kept getting better. yeah kept getting faster and faster. Like we would get off, two cycles would go by and it'd be faster than before. I don't understand. I know why you like Maverick though. Maverick almost feels like you're driving a fast car, and that's yeah. totally what. Yeah, that's totally why you like the it. First parts of world's like oh. yeah, <laughs> that launch. The He's obsessed warp, with the second launch. The warp speed in the tunnel. <laughs> My <laughs> God. Star in, Wars in the tunnel. In the dark when you can see all the green lights yeah. on the track and you're like, huh? What literally the wall? Just, oh, it just feels like a sonic boom. Oh, boom. We should watch the Concord documentary. We should put TV on, but let's finish this up first. I have a feeling we're to pay for the stupid TV. So would you come back to Cedar Point? Uh, yes. <laughs> would you recommend Cedar Point to friends and family? To friends and family, not to my family, but <laughs> to my friends. Do you get the point? Like, would you recommend other people to come to Cedar Point? Thus, are the Canadians viewing this video? Yes. It's the best park you've been to, right? Get your ass over here. Oh. Well, I've only been to three other parks. Marine Line. Oh, four. I always forget about Hershey. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. <laughs> we did not like Hershey. Oh, Hershey sucked. Skyrush was horrible. <laughs> we went on it twice, too, because to give it the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. It lost that benefit. All in all, we had a really good day. Oh my god, we did everything. Yeah, the fast lane today was gold. Like, super gold. The, that was mine. The only thing we didn't get was the corkscrew and iron. But we could have if we wanted to. Honestly, yeah. yeah, but we just chose not to. Yeah, so we'll get those tomorrow. Uh, there'll be a part two to this vlog, obviously, for our visit tomorrow. I think we're meeting a lot of, like, fans, too, and friends and stuff. Yay. So that'll be fun. Um, and, yeah, I guess we'll go update the Halloween video now as well. Are you filming the poll? The poll? That. It looks like you're filming the lamp. Kind of, yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's focusing it on me instead. Oh? No, it's focused on Kirk's face, don't worry. I swear to God, Kiefer, I'm going to put you on the floor. I'm going to sleep on the bed. Do oh. All right, we have a bit of an update for the Halloween situation that we were talking about earlier. We done, so We done goofed. <laughs> we happen to have lined up for um, the haunted Corn attractions Corn. at the worst time. Corn. So Corn. it seems like when everyone in the park was lining up for the haunted mazes, we happened to do the same thing, and thus, like, the extremely long wait. So what happened after we rode a couple more rides, and then, so, like, what happened? We rode a couple more rides, and then we saw the one that goes under Maverick, and there was no line, so we walked through it. We did all that. And then we walked to the we walked to the end, and then people are like, you're going Cornstalkers. Like, oh, okay, Cornstalkers had no line, and we went straight to Cornstalkers. Yeah, they were super friendly, too, and all the scare actors were amazing. Like, it, it was them, night and day, our experience. One of them called Brendan a piece of shit. Yeah, I got called a piece of shit. And then I got called uglier earlier, too. Remember when he said you're <laughs> <That's> ugly? <right. laughs> I was so, I'm so abused. This is why I don't like Halloween, Halloween weekends at Zero Point. This is the true tea, um, but the scare actors were amazing. Brennan's gonna kill me for my phone. I just gave him the death glare. 
Yeah. I saw it. I literally saw your eyes through the camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's payback for Kiefer because he has a screaming. Dog. Oh yeah, awesome. <gasps> yeah, that. He's in so much trouble when this camera goes off, and he knows it. <laughs> Stop moving, Kiefer. You keep messing with the light. Oh, uh, I should probably mute my phone. Yeah. No. Oh, you think? So, what was your favorite haunted house that we did today? I already know. Cornstalker. Yeah. It's that was so scary. Long. It's so long, it was scary. We got good jump scares in there. I didn't get scared. Don't, don't act tough for the camera. Don't act tough for the oh. camera. You know I didn't get scared. Cause they Should, were we, expose you? Oh. Should we expose <laughs> you? Oh. I'm quaking. You have to hold on to my sweater. <laughs> That I was like, oh. The, the worst thing was, you, you told us, okay, stay near me. I know, I told. With me, and I take off into the maze, and I get spooked right up. My yeah, this guy ran into the maze, and they jump scared him oh, within seconds. Yeah. He screamed like a little girl. Oh, there was one time Kiefer got. I scared Kiefer, and then at the exact same time, the scare actor jumped out, and he like yelled at me, and then yelled at the actor, and ran. That was super fun. I'm super excited for Halloween Haunt, Fear Farm, and Screamers now. Guys, I swear we had fun. We're just really tired. Yeah, we're like exhausted. Our feet are dead. You like speak, dead. You speak for yourself. Um, you just took your socks off and I know you just sniffed your socks and I swear you almost died. I didn't say this. I they, they don't smell particularly good. Would <laughs> you like to smell more socks? My legs. Okay, so it's confirmed. We figured out the problem. With people watching this Halloween video literally don't care about my feet, so I'm just gonna shut up there. That'll be for a separate video. We definitely know what's going on with my legs now. Um, if anyone remembers that great adventure experience I had, it is not great adventure's fault, and that is confirmed now. But yeah, super good day. Halloween haunt, well, Hell Weekends, whatever they call it. Like literally, they say Halloween haunt on some posters, and then Hell Weekends on, on others. It was super fun. We just happened to line up at the wrong time and had a horrible start to the event, but. It definitely got really amazing. The scare actors were super friendly and super amazing. The scares were amazing. Yeah. That line didn't feel like an hour and a half, though. It just dragged on. For it dragged on forever. It doesn't didn't help that we were already in pain and, like... Yeah. Like, but compared to Wonderland, I still say that Wonderland handles their lines a lot better. Mm -hmm. I like get the whole argument. Some people, you know, were like... Um, Congo lines ruin the scare. Yes, I get that. I totally agree with that too. And but you gotta so does a two-hour lineup for Haunted House. <laughs> 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 yes, a Congo line may ruin the scare, but so does waiting two hours for a house and there's like ten houses to do. If it wasn't like the best maze there, it would have been worth the wait. Yeah, like any of those other small indoor mazes, I would not have waited an hour and a half for. I honestly don't know if Corn. I don't know if Cornstalkers or the other one was good. Which one was better? Cornstalkers was definitely way better. But the one under Maverick was so good. Yeah, but Cornstalkers had better scares. And animatronics. Well, I wouldn't know you. Oh, but you jumped with that. I wish I was recording. I wish it was allowed because that snake scared you. The yeah. animatronic. Yeah. <laughs> he, he like almost got eaten. Like it literally like closed its mouth and it was like almost <laughs> eating Craig. That's so well in plain sight. You couldn't even tell it was there. And it's like boof. <laughs> uh, that scared me. I'm total though. I literally am dead. We still need to wait for a pizza. How much longer? Should be here soon. We've done enough to wait. I guess we should wrap up this Halloween video because we're literally not even talking about Halloween cans anymore. <laughs> it was amazing. Halloween cans. Oh. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. What's your line, Craig? That was basic YouTuber outro number one. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Say your piece. Fasta la vista. Oh, you're so Italian. I need another pet of cat. Wine. Wine? <laughs> well, that too. You have wine. not. What? Lime. Oh, yes, need you need a new wine. I was like, you most certainly have not had any alcohol. Well, I'm going to have to call your mom now. I'll give you her phone number. Miss Seg? <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> Bye. Bye.